I'm Eric. And today we are going to be eating at the Assembly Chef's Hall. Today we're at Assembly Chef's Hall. Uh, what Assembly Chef's Hall is, is a big, really big, uh, basically a canteen slash cafeteria where um, 17 of the top chefs in Toronto, restaurateurs, baristas, have assembled together to give you guys the best foodie experience you guys can ever have. So if you guys are a foodie, you guys need to check this out. Um, so let's go ahead and walk around and take a tour around the restaurant. from the boho uh, I chose it because there is a show on the Food Network called the Bobby Flay and this gnocchi made by I believe her name is Chef Ivana um, she beat Bobby Flay so I was like I need to try this I love gnocchi and I love truffle so yeah bon appetit this gnocchi is actually the best gnocchi I've ever had I haven't had a lot of gnocchi in my day but this is the real this is really good it's so, it's so creamy. The sauce is so creamy. The mushrooms give it a little bit of a, not a crunch, but a little bit of a bite. Um, the sauce is so rich, so creamy. Like it's, it's beautiful. It's look at it. Look at that. Yummy. So rich. Mmm, mushroom. It's so rich and creamy. The gnocchi guys was like little pillows of like softness when I bit into it. Mm. So the thing with truffle is that sometimes it can be very overbearing. People can use restaurants can use too much of it and it won't be it might take flavor away from the food. But the truffle is just the right amount in this gnocchi, it's to die for. Okay guys, so today we're at Tachi, uh, here at a restaurant in Assembly Chef's Hall. Uh, it's a restaurant that I'm going to try today. Um, so what they have here is what they call omakase, and that directly translates into chef's choice. So what that means is they're going to choose whatever we're going to eat today, and it's kind of listed here uh, what it is. Tachi is basically just a stand-up sushi that was uh, opened in Toronto. And it's the very first one where they just do stand-up sushi, as you can see. There's only eight seats that they offer. A good place to dip your toes in to omakase, just because it's such a cheap price. It's listed as only $55 uh, compared to the other places in Toronto, which could go up to like $200. It's a great place to start off with um, if you don't want to just break the bank and um, start with this. This is Canada first stand-up omakase place. So today I'm going to serve 11 nigiri, one temaki. Serving time around 25 to 30 minutes. 
enjoy it right away. Use the hand and then one bite, it tastes better. And soy sauce wasabi already inside. Let us know it's too much. There you go, first piece. Scallop from Hokkaido, Japan. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say it's like any like fishy at all. It's just very sweet. There's like a little bit of wasabi in there. And the soy sauce is just perfect, just brushed over the top. And really nice. Look. Mm, cheers. Fish was a little firmer than uh, the scallop. The scallop was really soft. Uh, this one was a lot more mild, I think, in flavor. Um, not too fishy either. That is a madai, sea bream. Sea bream. Okay. It's interesting because every fish, every piece of sushi that I'm eating, it's like going up in like flavor and also like the firmness of it, I guess. That was really good. This one is a Zuke Iwana. It's a soy marinade Arctic charm. So if you guys ever had sushi, uh, salmon sushi before, that was like a similar texture to it. This was marinated in soy. Um, so it gave it like a little bit more flavor than you would have with salmon, I guess. Yeah, a little bit more salty. Akami, green bluefin tuna. A little sweet. Um, it's it's cool that the tuna was per cut perfectly in half because like literally right when I bit it, it was as if it was intended for me to eat eat it like that. So like the tuna was literally cut in half, and as I put it in my mouth, I like naturally bit it like that. So it, like perfectly just separated my mouth as if it was meant to do that. There you go, chutoro, medium fatty tuna. Like melt in your mouth. It's so fatty and and juicy. It almost feels like someone has been massaging this fish for like ten days, and like when I bit into it, it just like melted in my mouth because it was massaged for so long. <laughs> I'm sure that's not what happened, but that's how I would describe that texture. It was just so fatty. Oh, it's an otoro fatty tuna. Otoro, which is the fattiest tuna. Um, is this the tuna belly? Okay, yes. so this is the tuna belly. If the last one felt like it was massaged for 10 days, I don't know how this one's gonna taste, so let's go in here. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> it's so good. Put it in my mouth and it's just dissolving, I feel like. I think the rice really complements that one. Because it's such like a fatty piece of um, fish that the rice like really helped cut down the fat there, and also the um, the the soy sauce helped a lot as well to really cut down like the fattiness of it. But it's such a balanced piece of sushi right there. There you go, smoked onido katsu. So you can see, it looks, 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 looks like there's still some of the skin left on there. Looks like it's kind of. On top is a green onion. Green onion? Okay, cool. And there's some green onion on top. This looks a lot firmer than the other ones I've had so far. You can definitely feel the smoky texture in that one. You can taste on the outside it's kind of smoky, on the inside it's kind of firm. Squid. Squid. It's definitely sweeter than all the other squid I've ever had. I love that they torched it a little bit because it gives it that little fiery smokiness to it um, that I've never had before with having squid like that, like squid sushi. There you go, it's a ikura, semolo. Mm. What should I expect eating this one? Orange tapioca? Mm -hmm. Orange tapioca. <laughs> 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 The best way to describe that one is if I went into the Bahamas and I dove into this, like some salt water and took a big gulp of salt water, but in the nicest way, like it's it literally coats your mouth. It like bursts all the little like uh, fish row. It kind of just like bursts in your mouth, giving like that like freshness of like the sea. But 
um, that little lime juice on top or lemon juice uh, really like um, highlighted that a lot. It's anago sea water eel. So tender, and when you bite into it, it kind of just like falls apart all over your mouth. Um, I think there was like a sweet element comp uh, component in that for sure, because uh, that definitely tastes a little sweetness uh, to that one. Um, instead of usually like a, a salty sweet that you usually find in like a teriyaki sauce. There is actually unagi sauce. Unagi sauce, okay. Last piece, fatty tuna with the green onion. Thank you. Tuna with some green onion. Last one, guys. I have to say that this is probably the best hand roll I've ever had. The seaweed is just like a different type of seaweed. It's just so, um, it usually it's kind of like firm, but this one is just, literally when you bite into it, kind of just like flakes off. The tuna inside is nice and sweet, perfectly seasoned. Perfect amount of soy sauce in there. We thought of like every detail. There's a little seaweed on the other side, so like this doesn't fall out. Fucking amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very much. That was so good. Thank you. There you have it. Those are the restaurants that are here at the Assembly Chefs Hall. We hope that this video shed a little bit of light on all the restaurants here and all the great food that Toronto has to well, this Toronto location has to offer. Yeah, and I hope you guys come out with some of your friends to come try out this location just because it's such a fun little place to bring all your friends and everyone can try little bits of food and you guys can just come eat. Um, yeah. It's a great place where if you and your friends can't decide on one place to eat, you can all come here and get yeah. different things from the different little pop-ups here. Such a good place to do it. Yeah. 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 Alright guys, thank you so much. Smash that thumbs up button. Uh, comment. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a subscribe. Like, if comment, you guys subscribe. liked some of this comment. Okay, bye. Bye.